Here we are then, round one of F1 Manager Season 2. Your eyes are not deceiving. Sebastian Vettel, Fernando Alonso in the Aston Martin. This could be legendary. So leave a like if you're going to enjoy this episode and subscribe for more. We're doing F1 Manager on the channel and also our streaming on Twitch, link down below. And yeah, we're going to get into things. Round one, Bahrain, we've got a bunch of upgrades. So let's get into it and let's see what's new. So yeah, just to kind of recap, we've done a new front wing, which we have for this race, along with a new rear wing, side pods, and finally underfloor. Yet to upgrade suspension, which is in the process, and also the chassis, which we'll get around to eventually. I've realized, turns out, all the research that I've done for this season, last season, was basically for nothing, because I didn't understand exactly how the sliders worked, and I've learned that the hard way. So, just to recap performance targets, we've guaranteed P15 in qualifying with one driver, because I don't really know what the car's going to be in terms of pace, where we're going to be. I've not guaranteed a fastest lap in the race, because I think we're going to be fighting for points, and qualifying position streak with one driver, P15 or above. Pretty safe, just making sure we get some cash flow coming in, because we're a bit poor right now. Car was amazing. Copy. Sure. There we go, 100%. Sebastian P6. Just testing the waters, you know, seeing where the car is. Alonso also P13, but look how close it is. Top 16 covered by 8 tenths of a second. So this is looking pretty decent. Not sure how the game is working now in terms of, you know, performance and qualifying. We'll go for two flying laps and see what happens. Let's see what the first lap is. Seb's going to clear Verstappen just before turn four. Happy days. Alonso is going to hit Hamilton. I don't think Seb will, but Alonso is going to hit Hamilton through here. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, that was okay. Oh dear. Let's take a look at the replay. Taking a look again, it involves Sebastian Vettel. I know Bonotto is stepping down from Ferrari, but last time I checked, he hasn't taken over Aston Martin. So no Bonotto for me, please. I don't want that. First lap. Hmm. Quite a bit gap. 1.1 away. I don't think they'll improve, but... It would allow Seb to get a proper lap time on the board, which is something. Let's be fair, Alonso says the personal best. Does he improve? No, he doesn't. Seb does find a bit of time, and there we go. He might get a bit of a toe. I don't really know if it's actually going to work, you know, distance-wise, getting that that kind of toe, but we'll see. Sector one, then. I'm expecting Seb to improve, um, and to be fair, Alonso as well. I think he got held up a little bit. So, yeah, personal best in sector one for both. Sector two... And both drivers are up. Okay, happy days. Come on then, boys. Let's see what we've got in the tank. Joe has just improved. Come on, let's try. We could actually get out here both cars. Alonso, yeah, P12. Sebastian, P16. Ugh. Right, so there we go. Sebastian out. Just out. Very close. But... There's a new sheriff in town. His name is Fernando Alonso. So, yeah. Those are the margins. Seb just missed out. As for Fernando, uh, there's a bit of a gap to Norris there. A tenth in F1 manager is a lot. A tenth is a lot to find. You don't really get that improvement. But look at the, you know, Russell, Ocon, same lap time, Magnussen, Norris. Right, let's see what this first lap is. I've already forgotten what the lap times were in the last session, but... Well, no, we're looking at a 0.5. That's what Alonso done. So if he matches that, that's good. Uh, let's see. So 0 0.7. So he's two and a half tenths off. Right. Timing now. Just wait. I don't think Q3's on. But let's see. Oh, shit. I, I didn't mean to go times 16. I meant to go times 8. I accidentally double clicked. <laughs> oh, damn it! I'm gonna I'm gonna kick myself now if a, if a point five is Q3 pace. Yep, I might be Bonotto to be fair. Vettel spun, and I didn't send Alonso out in time, so maybe I'm Bonotto. So uh, yeah, that that would make sense to be fair. P15. This is annoying because 131.565, 131.567. And you could probably say he's going to go a bit quicker. So you're probably looking at P8, possible. So um, that's an L, that's on me. 
so hopefully we can get it back in the race. Aston Martin did a good job during qualifying, and they're pretty much where everyone expected them to be on the grid. Now not quite, Karu, not quite. Not quite. Anyway, uh, let's get this done. So, uh, one stop seems to be not the option. I like that. I think that's fair. It's only a touch slower than strategy A, but we have better tyres. I think I can control that a bit better. I'm happy with that. Give it a one stop to Alonso. Could try. Lap 26. Why not? Let's go for it. Why not? And this is it. The Bahrain Grand Prix. Let's do it. And it's lights out and away we go. Off the line then. Let's see how the Red Bull powertrain is going to help us in race trim. Down to turn one. Steady, steady. That's Fernando Seb getting overtaken by Joe, who's on the soft tyre. Everyone's on soft, by the way, except for us. That's it. So that could be interesting. Top 10 on new softs. Looks like Seb's holding on well. Look at those. Realistically, we're going to drop out of the RS range, I think. What should we do? Should we try to stay within the RS range or should we accept that we're on a different strategy, especially with Fernando, and just let him do his own race? So, on a person now from Latifi in the Haas. Oh, God. Nicky, mate. Behave yourself. You're in a Haas. Come off it. If Joe goes by, he could just reform the train. What's tyre wear saying? 4%. Seb's chewing his tyres up, although to be fair, he isn't aggressive. Not ideal that Joe seems to have forgotten how to overtake when we needed him to get by. <laughs> this isn't the one. A five second gap now. Oh, well, Seb's got both of them. Take a look now. So this was the Aston Martin. Seb just said, right, I'm just going to get through and just, you know, I've got places to be things to do. Let's see if Seb's got any techers. Has he got any of his last season form to help us, you know, pull away? Or not, never mind, Alonso. Let's just, ah, whatever, let's just let them both push. Just keep swapping round, you know, work together, bang, 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 swap, 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 bish, bash, bosh, and hope it gives us some kind of pace. That's what we can really hope for. Gasly P4, Ocon P6. Make that Gasly P3. Ferrari look like they've got the package again. Williams, new lineup. Not really delivering so far. And ah, look at that. The GOAT. GOATIFI. Getting a move on. And his Haas debut. Haas with an overtake. Let's, let's watch this. We missed this one. There. Now let's look. We're watching Nicholas Latifi. Horsepower. There we go. Easy. It's Latifi time, boys. Both of our boys side by side. I mean, this is just not optimal, is it? Let's be honest. The Ministry of Defence is strong with both of our drivers. There we go, Sebastian. Now does go through. Ugh, the gap is getting large. I know Seb's on a four-year deal, but make no mistake, the levels are the levels. If the levels ain't levels, then the door is that way. Uh, yeah, I could swap to be fair, um, but even now we're kind of just ahead of schedule. We'll have to go back to tire saving. Here we see a rare Zhou Guan Yu overtake. So this is going to move Fernando up, deal with it a little bit. Considering it's a one-stop, out ahead of signs. That's actually quite encouraging, to be fair. Ahead of, you know, basically the person who's battling for the race lead. That's actually quite good. That, that kind of renews some optimism and some faith in me that the one-stop could actually work with Fernando. Um, tire was looking really good now. I'm expecting Latifi and Joe to pit this lap or the next one, give or take. So then signs would naturally catch up to us. So we could actually just follow Carlos in the DRS 
especially if we leave Alonso on aggressive. That could work. And while well, Fernando will move into the top eight. And there goes Carlos Sainz. Oh my god, that was a horrible apex park. Latifi's putting a shift in, by the way. On that soft tyre. Fair play. I'm confident we can get points of Alonso. There we go, up to P3 now. More cars in the pits. Several also going a few places. Three abreast. And <laughs> is at the back of the train by the end of it. All right, that's the end of that then. We'll just leave Alonso in aggressive to push on tyres. I'll leave Alonso on aggressive. Um, we can't afford to use much more fuel. Just advanced. Alonso is going to get danced around by everybody. But then there's a gap to Norris. So I think realistically we could be racing Norris today. My gut says P11 with Albon. That's a pretty safe margin, but let's see. Fingers crossed a hard tyre actually is fast and works well. Sips recovered okay to be fair after the spin. He's done well to bounce back. So Seb into the pit lane. Alonso is still in this scrap. Well, Seb down pit road. Let's, let's see what the pit stops are like. We had, of course, that delay from the reg change. So I'm expecting like a three second stop. 2.8, okay, that's not too bad. But they're going to be slow this year. Alonso still stuck in. Seb needs a safety car, or maybe even a virtual safety car to get back in this race, realistically. Um, he's the only car on soft now, though, so it, it will remain that way for the rest of the race. So Seb will be on the better compound. So we'll see how he gets on. Uh, we'll leave him in standard modes for now. Nando's still hanging in there. Got the DRS on his former teammate, Ocon. Uh, we'll take a bit of pain on this stint and have... Slightly better tyres for the last one. Here comes the radio. I've been wanting to see this. According to Alessandro, this should be interesting. Yeah, the same. A little bit of uh, poor traction now. Traction issues. Oh, uh, Alonso's got no pace to hang on to the RS. Let's just take one more lap pain and then we'll go for the hard tyre. Sebi boy. Getting stuck in. Let's let him... Use some of the boost. Alonso's gonna pit. Oh no, you gotta be shitting me. Not now. Oh, don't park it. Not now. Oh. Oh, big lock up there. Ah, <sighs> oh, mate. I do not believe it. Anyway. Let's, uh, let's see what happens here. They're going to be close, actually. And there we go. Seb with the double. Love to see it. All right. In a bit. So, Nando. Nando has to save. Uh, we will give the instruction to... Not fight teammate. We don't want to waste any time here. Seb's on a different strategy. Let's see, there's a swap. So Seb goes through. Seb's on a mission. So this is a good car to follow right now for Fernando. If we can just keep him there. So let's go with Seb here. Let's see if we can get stuck in. We'll also push with Fernando to try and get past Joe ASAP. We don't want to waste any time getting these overtakes done. So we want to get these done snappy, quick, rapid fighting. So Seb through, Alonso through. Lovely stuff. And that is encouraging, by the way. That's not bad, you know. We got, we got a chance here. We're not out of this yet. We're not out of this. For the end of Seb's stint, I might have him sit behind Alonso and get the DRS and try to save fuel a little bit after the shift. We'll basically swap them around again so that Seb kind of stays in the race. We will let Alonso go now. Uh, reserve driver is Felipe Drogovic, who will be driving next season. And it will be to replace either Alonso or Seb, I think. We just need to charge up. Yeah. Kind of wish I'd given Alonso a bit more than just a one-year deal now, to be honest, but still, we'll work on that later on. Uh, I hope Seb can hold on. I'm concerned this might not be enough, but I'm guesstimating. But a pit stop here, I think Alonso would be around where Bottas is. Go, go, go. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Oh, please give me a replay of that. That is sexy right there. By the way, Alonso 
What a move, son. Up the inside. That was excellent for Fernando. We've also caught up quite a bit, actually. We've gained two seconds on Albon. Sebs dropping right off. What's going on here? A bit further back than I thought. So in that case, we're looking at Russell. We're ahead of Russell. This is going to be the car to follow right here. This is what we want. I might just leave him in standard modes, though. I'm not confident we're going to have to pace to hang on easily. Right now, this is it. Russell's in. This is the one. If we're ahead of Russell... We're possibly looking at a couple of points or a point today. And I think we're going to be ahead just, but Russell's on a fresh soft tire, which hmm, isn't ideal. Russell's right behind, so let's see. P11 right now. Um, Ricardo, I believe, Bottas has to stop as well. So Russell and Stroll through. Alpha that was easy for them. The I will try to use a bit of push to keep up, but I'm not too confident. Uh, you can see we're just not there, pace-wise. Ricardo Bottas in the last two cars to pit. Bottas onto the softs, Ricardo already on them. They're going to be close. Bit late. Yep. So make sure you get your pit limiter, pit limiter as you come in the pit lane. So yeah, All right, 11 for Fernando. It would have been P10. Obviously, Russell Stroll just got by, so we would have been in the, in the back end of the points. But it is what it is. Might just pit Fernando for softs, to be honest, and just go for a fastest lap, maybe. Right now, P11, we're still just on the cusp. If one car drops out of the top 10 and makes a mistake or has a crash, we're in. So, yeah, well, I'll say that. Everyone goes through. <laughs> right, uh, let's do a one push lap with Sebastian here, have a bit of fun with it. Seb, fastest lap and blast past the T feet. Good chance I could be the fastest lap overall, to be fair, because he got a bit of DRS as well for good measure. We will bring Alonso in for a soft tire attempt. Go, go, go. Soft fast lap attempt. Okay. I just find it funny because I think Sebastian's going to finish ahead of Alonso at the end of this race. P10 three. Copy. Right, let's get that done. Decent stop. 2.8. And we're going to get straight like back on the way. Have just gained a race position. Alonso just stays in front of Joe. It wasn't on my agenda to have Sebastian Vettel and Latifi in the house battling all race long. That was not on the on the postcard. That was not part of the plan. Push mode now early so that it gives him time to understand and AI to react. As long as you get DRS. Which I think he has, yes he does. Okay, now this is the fastest lap attempt. Here we go. There it is, new fastest lap of the race. Fernando Alonso. In the Aston Martin. Definitely could do a stick in that in the thumbnail just to help attract some viewers. I can't say, but let's get the fuel back. Seb's tires have dropped by the way. Four laps in full push mode, and it's just absolutely ripped the tires apart. Anyway, job done. Fair play, Shaw. Oh god, not like this. Thank god for that. How has Latifi been such a problem? Check it, flag. Check it, flag. Full of struggle. Tough day. On a one off lap, <laughs> we blitzed it. I mean, Alonso even got the fastest lap of the hard tire at one point. So there is some pace there. Like, there is some raw pace. I mean, Alonso should have got Q3. Seb's race pace was better than his qualifying pace um, overall. So Leclerc with a win. Signs 1.1 behind in the end, Verstappen on the podium. Lando P5, McLaren, Alpine up there as well, Gasly P6 on debut. Mercedes have taken a bit of a drop. Looking at the race, Hamilton 8th, Russell 12th. Mercedes have dropped back in the off-season. Alpha Tauri looked promising on Friday, dropped back a little bit in the race as well. Yeah, a lot, a lot to learn. Um, a lot of information you know, that we'll, we'll take away from this. That's a hefty bonus though, not bad. Decent bonuses for both, to be fair. Alonso's got a higher growth potential than I thought. Four mil, we'll take that. Desperately need a bit of cash, so I'm happy to get that money. Right, chassis, here we go. More upgrades. Let's manufacture a chassis. We'll rush it. 
Okay, let's uh, fix the team hub. Refurbish. Chassis complete. Race review. Staff. Well, boardroom not happy. As expected. Engine cooling of car one could be better. I just wonder if this is affecting straight lines performance in the race. Right, hospitality and helipad yet again. More more money being spent. Got to refurbish a helipad. Helipad so key. Yeah, this is the best we're gonna get. We'll get a slime improvement in cooling, but that's about it. But like in, in like intense or intense with capital letters. What about this? Uh, I, I'm, I'm not fast. The suspension, which is dog shit on our car, which is, I think it was the suspension, right? That was the weakest part of our car. That was the issue suspension. When, once this arrives in eight days, I will spend everything I've got left on CFD and wind tunnel on a new suspension. And it's gonna be a suspension that will help us out. But like, we'll just go for one more upgrade, but we've got to wait eight days. Um, and I don't think the next race is a back-to-back. -back. No, it isn't. So we just got, we just got to suffer Jeddah. We get through Jeddah. We get the suspension going. Monaco is the one, man. Monaco, Spain as well, but Monaco, low speed. That suits our car. That's that's the one I'm looking at. So yeah, we'll leave it there. Upgrade wise, we know what we're doing. We'll keep improving. Right then, work to do. Work to be done.